All right, what are we going to so guys, what are we going to talk, talk today? Well, as you probably all guess, we're going to be talking about what everybody is, the 8.1 update. And I'm just going to be honest, give you my quick opinion. I think it's uh, a great idea. Uh, I think Lily needed to do that a long time ago, something like that. Um, some people disagree with me, some people will agree with me. Um, I think the way they're doing it is good, but they need to provide some uh, recompensation for people that have gone to one unit to be able to compete on some of these events. So what? Uh, but what I also want to go over is one of the things that they posted. They sent an in-game in -game mail today that I think it explains a little bit more what they're going to be doing. They're going to also provide, even though they're going to put a cap, they were going to be putting a split uh, theater sign up. One sign up is going to be without a cap and the other sign up will be having a cap. So those people, those alliances that don't want to, don't have a strong players and want to be play safe, they should sign up to the uh, cap event and they will not have that problem. Now, if they don't want to do that, they can go to uncap and they might face a strong alliance. They will be as normal. Uh, all top alliances, I think all alliances right now, epic one, two, and gold one, most likely will continue normal. Uh, and everything below that should probably sign up for the safe one. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's more information that they're going to bring with this. I think it's a little bit too early to start making our own decisions. Uh, I think we should just wait and see what else they come up with. Uh, like everything, when it's a change, uh, some people might not like it. Some people might. Uh, this, we just need to wait. I do think they need to recompensate uh, for some members for the ones that sacrifice unit to get a 9.0 or higher unit. They should recompensate for those. One of the ideas I have is, uh, and probably people hate me for this, is a one-time sale for, I say, I was thinking 99 cent, they should sell for everybody. Uh, that have modern units, servers that have modern units, allow them for 99 cents, get a 7.2 unit of their choosing, and, and get all the gears and bullets to max that unit of 7.2. Because a lot of us, we, me included, we sacrifice a few 7.2 to be able to have an, one or two units of the, over 9.0. So they should compensate uh, some of those players. Of course, they should put some restriction like uh, only servers that I have have mother unit unlocked. Uh, there must be people that have already mother units uh, advanced over 9.0. They have to have it because if you don't have a mother unit above 9.0, you probably um, haven't sacrificed a 7.2 yet because you probably don't have enough to. Uh, and of course, command center and barracks. There's some restrictions, but it should be something or unit exchange. They have to provide something for us players that sacrifice a 7.2 unit already to get modern unit. I think that that's the, the one they should do. But again, it's a little bit too early to be making decisions. Um, if you are on the Warpath Discord channel, you also last night that Discord went crazy with so many people giving their opinions. And, and to be honest, I was looking at it, I was it was pretty split half and half. A bunch of them were saying I hate it, and a bunch of them were saying this is a good idea. Some of them say that there needs to be some compensation. We just need to wait. Um, Right now we're gonna go 7.4 update. 8.0 update is gonna become first and 8.1. We just need to wait and see what they come up with. Uh, and we just need to be patient. We don't need to be going crazy at this. We just need to wait. I think it's a great idea. I think they should have done it earlier. 
Um, there's a lot of players that stopped playing because they were in a battlefield that is unfair. And they and, and I think this is a great idea. It's gonna force strong players and low alliance to move to a bigger alliance and it's gonna create bigger alliances on all servers and more competition. I think it's a good idea what they're doing. We just need to see what's going on. So I'll say my final thought is how great is a great idea, but we should wait before we make a decision. So uh, I'm gonna leave you with some battle feel on the background, like I'm being, uh, you have been seeing. Uh, this is a fight between uh, HBR top, SUSL G28 top and kill. Uh, there was an open field battle. Uh, enjoyed the last few minutes of the battlefield, and I'll talk to you guys later.